going on everybody? This is Justin from Skips Custom Outdoors and uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of uh, the ice fishing shack and, and hunting shack. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'll give you a little little story about this this uh, old tent trailer. This was an old 1974 StarCraft. So it started off uh, pretty pretty simple. I had a snowmobile an old snowmobile that I traded for um, a, a different tent trailer. And that tent trailer was pretty small. It worked good, but it was small. And uh, so I had a guy approach me. He had a 1974 StarCraft in really good shape. Sweet, go out there, take a look. Yeah, looks pretty decent. Didn't know much about tent trailers, so do the trade, do the paperwork, get it home, set it up. Seems to all be good. Perfect, let's go camping. So I went on kind of a solo camping trip by myself there and take the wife where the kids are with, just myself. And uh, first time I go to set it up, canvas rips all the way along. Shoot. So I start looking into the cost of fixing that. Well, that's expensive. So I wasn't sure what to do. Do I turn it into a trailer or like a, like a flat deck trailer and just all junk around with it or what. And then my buddy had the idea, well, I'll turn it into a hunting shack. Just got into hunting, sweet, let's do it. So I did it and then I got into ice fishing and so I figured why not make it a multi-purpose unit, ice fishing shack and um, and hunting shack, all, all is one. So that's what we have here. So this is a 1974 Starcraft ice fishing shack, hunting shack, and let's go to the tour. Well, let's start with a tour here. So on the outside, first thing you see is this jerry can here that holds the diesel for my diesel heater. Exhaust is routed outside and taken. The, the fuel pump is all sitting right there. Here I have a simple bolt system for locking locking it out. I just use a gun, a gun lock. Where I go, I'm not super concerned about people breaking into it. I haven't had issues with it. It's a pretty small lake, very... It's a good, good community where I go ice fishing and same with hunting. Hunting's all in private land for right now. And so I'm not worried at all about people cutting that and going in. I mean, if they're gonna cut that lock, they may be able to break the door off. So I'm not too worried about that or smash a window in. This is just whatever, just extra safety precaution. So got that, got that lock. The door is pretty janky, but Inside's pretty pretty basic. Got our rod holders there. I got some jacket hooks right now. They're holding my sleeping bag covers because I'm going to be hunting out with it this weekend. Little floor mat to put your boots. And then we have the bunk beds here, which doubles as a shooting table. So we'll have this top piece will be, well, you'll see, you can see I have the rifle set up there. These two windows here open up nicely and yeah, then this is, yeah, this, this, I also have a, an air mattress that goes, fits on top there. And then there's a mattress down there. My kids will sleep down there. I'll sleep up top there. Um, yeah, you take all that off and you have a nice little shooting table. And then I have, uh, this table here that everything, the legs kind of fold down. And then you lift it up. it up and you got a nice nice little table here so another table you can either shoot off of or what but yeah we'll see uh we'll see how how that works but this is mostly going to be for for filling fish and, and a little bit of cooking um but yeah you've got a vent vent up here for for cooking i won't do too much too much cooking with uh when i'm hunting here but yeah this is this is the heater this is the bench for where the battery goes i also got these uh these sweet holes in the floor here um <clears throat> these things here so just grab it pull it up and simple really nice dust free 
they seem to stay intact pretty good. I haven't had uh, had them fly out driving down gravel roads. And like I said, I've taken this thing out hunting a couple times and it's been really good. So that's, uh, that's probably the best investment I've made as far as ice fishing shack goes. Those hole covers are sweet. I just stick a five gallon pail into the hole and it touches the ground, done. You don't have any frost or any wind whipping up there. It's gonna be awesome. I have it set up right now that I can run it off of a generator. Um, but when you're hunting, obviously that does not work. You do not want to be noisy while you're hunting. Um, so for that, and that's for the lighting. Um, for ice fishing, whatever, have the generator running all day long, who cares? But for hunting, I have, there'll be a battery set up right over here. And then there's an inverter, 400 watt inverter, just to run the lights. The S-bar heater here, the bunk heater here, that all runs off of, uh, um, off of battery power. So I don't need to worry about that. If you're wondering what this patch in the floor is or the ceiling is here, I used to have a, uh, um, I used to have a, a wood stove in here, but I got pretty sick of that pretty quick. It got way too smoking hot and, um, yeah, it was just way too much. I couldn't, uh, you know, you get it, you get in here on a minus 30 and minus 40 degrees Celsius day and you just want to get a fire going cause you're cold. And so you'd put too much wood in, get the fire going. And you know, you wait 10, 15 minutes and all of a sudden it's hot in here and then you can't do nothing about that. So, yeah, so I took that all, I took that all out and this year bought, bought this little heater here. I've tested it out two times now in the bush. Um, I've taken this thing out now twice, um, hunting and that, that heater has been awesome. It has good climate control. You just have to turn the heater off when it's, when it gets too hot and you just let the, let the room cool down by itself, but it cools down pretty quick with, with not having a wood stove. That's just constantly radiating heat. Cause you can't cool down a wood stove once it's hot. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the gist of the, the hunting shack here. And, um, the high power season's coming in soon. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can give you a little, a little tour of that when we, when we head out and do some hunting. So I'll take you guys along for that. And, uh, then this winter I'll take you guys with ice fishing. It's going to be a lot of fun and, uh, we'll see you next time.